I'm so handsome. I'm so handsome. All in Carmine's with my Benz, ooh, I'm so fancy. Yeah, I'm so fancy. Yeah. No romance. No What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I want to show you a really really cool and kind of unique uh, effect from Lil Tega's Ransom. Link is going to be in the description if you guys want to watch the music video. Before I do begin, I do want to give a special thanks to today's sponsor. I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, Skillshare is a great place to learn your craft online with an online learning community so you can network with peers and discover new opportunities. The best part about Skillshare is that you can take as many classes as you want in tons of different categories without paying for each one. Skillshare has many categories to choose from like film, fashion, design, and photography to name a few. A favorite class that I found helpful is the Final Cut Pro 10 Color Correction for Beginners by Benjamin Halsall, who also has dozens of other classes. You should also check out one of Skillshare's top film and video class all about creating a modern cinematic documentary with Danden Liu, a documentary filmmaker and cinematographer. Get a two-month free trial by visiting the link down in the description of this video. Now let's begin with the tutorial. Alright guys, so what you saw in the beginning of the video was of course uh, the effect that I've done here, which is of course inspired by the actual music video where in the beginning of the video you see um, like the the intro with the directed by Colt Bennett alongside the cartoon effect. And this is the effect that I've applied with Final Cut Pro 10 without using any plugins or anything like that. You can do this all in Final Cut Pro 10. As long as you're running on the latest version of 10.4 or above, then you should be able to make this work. First, you wanna have your video in the timeline set already. So what we wanna do first is you wanna make a copy of the actual video. So hold down Alter Option and just click and drag upwards to make a copy. And then we're gonna be applying our draw mask on top of this one here. But before we do that, we're gonna go into the effects over here. We're going to go down to the, it's going to be called Cosmic Looks. So inside of this, you're going to have, I think, six different types of cartoon effects. Just click and drag this directly on top of the top video here. Then what you want to do is you want to go into the parameters here and just adjust this to, how you, to your liking. Of course, you're going to do style. I'm going to do black and white. And then the fill color, I'm going to make this one blue. So I'm going to make this one like, I don't know, maybe something like this. I'm going to decrease the luminance on this one. So once you have your colors um, selected to how you want it to look like, you can then change the smoothness of this. I just move it all the way to the left, but you can increase this to make it more of a car cartoon effect. And then you can go to the ink edges. This will adjust the ink edges. The more you drag it outwards, the more it will give you a different look. So I'm going to drag this outwards just a tad to, sound, to around like 17, 18. And they can change the ink smoothness a little bit. And then you have the mix, so you can go from normal to the cartoon effect. So once you are here, we're going to move the time head to the beginning of that clip. We're going to go into the effects. We're going to go into the masks. And then we're going to go to draw mask. And we're going to click and drag that directly on top of that clip there. Once you've done this, you're going to click and drag the draw mask above the cosmic vintage effect. So that now all we have to do is just make a selection. So I'm going to make a quick selection around him. And then to finish it off, you're going to have like a little circle next to the pen tool click and select that and then you're going to have your little cartoon effect. So now if you go into the feather, you can feather this outwards or you can feather this inwards. So I'm going to go back to the draw mask, make sure that it's selected with the yellow triangle. And then what you want to do is you want to go into the control points, click this little diamond icon to add your keyframe. And then you're going to go into the transforms and you can add a position there too, just in case you want to move the actual point itself. So once you are here, all you got to do is just skip a couple of frames. I'm going to go around every 10 frames and just adjust these, you know, to its shape. So since this is moving a little bit, you're going to have to keyframe this. If your video is still, you don't have to add a keyframe. You can totally skip this part, but I'm pretty sure your music video is going to be moving. So, and that's kind of what makes it look kind of nice. So I'm going to move this. That looks good. I'm going to go to the next 10 frames and adjust these. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in the next 10 frames, around a second long now. And then if we go back, you can see how they're starting to look like. And then the last bit here, one frame to the left. Okay, so then this looks pretty good now. So if I go back and I push play, it's gonna look like this. So once you're at this point, all you're gonna do is right click on the top clip, go to new compound clip. I'm gonna name this cartoon. Press enter. So now this is this acts as one clip. So now we can add another effect to this, which is going to be the mask. So we're going to add another draw mask on top of this grouped clip. 
So now all we have to do is zoom out to around 50%. So it looks like this. Click on the left side out of the frame and then hold shift to create a straight line across. So it looks like that. And then you're gonna make your selection and finish it off where you started around here. So now you're gonna have this line that will allow you to separate it to add a keyframe. So do whatever you want. This is where you can finesse it, of course. So I'm gonna move this upwards like that, making sure that the time is in towards the beginning. I'm gonna go to the draw mask. I'm gonna go to control points. I'm gonna add a point there. I'm also gonna do one in the position for the transforms there. Now you wanna go and skim through a little bit. I'm gonna go around 10 frames, maybe nine. I'm gonna drag this downwards like that. Now if I go back and I push play, it looks like that, which looks really cool. Now if it's too fast, you don't have to adjust these or remove the keyframes. All you have to do is right click on the clip and then you wanna go into uh, the show video animation or hold down control V. Then you're gonna have under the draw mask, either of these, you're gonna see some points here. So you can click and drag this outwards a little bit if you want it to animate a little bit slower. And then you also have your starting points which are right here. So maybe you don't want it to start right away. You can do it like that. Maybe that's too fast. You can just drag this outwards like that and it'll go in a lot slower. So I'm gonna go, I like it a little bit fast. That's a brown. A couple of frames if you want to ever adjust the colors all you have to do is double click on the grouped clip select the clip and then go into ink color right here and then you can change this to like maybe if you want pink you can do pink let's just see what it looks like so now if you go back it will change the color to your liking like that which looks really really cool so if you guys found this video helpful please leave a like guys i'm sorry i couldn't get up a top three as you can see here or a top five effects those videos do take a little bit longer to make and i was on a tight uh schedule and a deadline so i'm sorry for that i will put that out next week so um mark my word next week for sure comment down below if you guys have any other video ideas until then i'll catch you guys next time peace